She said I won't be back in a while. Don't wait. Already packed her bags. Called the cab. Made space. And she said I won't answer if you call me when you're lonely. I guess I let her go. Never mind. It's too. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel, and welcome to another cozy vlog. I hope you guys are all doing really well. So I've just done my hair and makeup for the day. To be honest with you, I just can't be bothered to do my hair. So I don't really know what we're doing. This is like two or three day old curls, which is still fine. I think I'm just gonna kind of straighten the bits that have like kinked just right at the front but i thought we could have a lovely day together um i have some autumnal hauls that i wanted to do with you um i've got something from h&m stuff from shein that i wanted to share with you some baby bits i asked you guys a few vlogs ago what you would prefer because it's really hard for me to know like do i do like baby content completely separate or do i just add little bits here and there because obviously when we start on their nursery and stuff like that it's going to be like separate videos but for now like while we're kind of like still settling into our new home and um, we've obviously got some like wardrobes and stuff to buy I still need to order them and bits of bobs like that we're just kind of I'm just kind of like holding off on the baby stuff and I've got loads I've been like collecting bit but yeah we're kind of holding off for a bit obviously we don't know their genders yet so we're gonna be finding out this week which is so exciting but yeah I didn't really know what to do and then I asked you guys and I'd say 98% of you said you like a little bit of a mix there's some really nice comments which were like I don't have any babies or I'm not pregnant or anything but I really love seeing baby stuff and I was that person before I got pregnant I completely like relate but then there was like a couple of people that were like completely separate <laughs> I'm gonna try and do like an in-between but yeah some of the stuff I have today have got a couple of baby bits but I just wanted to let you guys know so the plan for today I'm gonna be filming over the next few days I'm sorry <laughs> this bit of hair we're just not gonna talk about it because I always talk to you guys about it and it drives me mad. See, so yeah, I wanted to film over the next few days. Um, I've just got ready. We're going to go to Tesco's. I haven't got this ready to go to Tesco's. But we're going to do our weekly food shop. And then we're actually going to my sister's today. Because it is bank holiday Monday. So we're just going to see some of the family pop in for a bit. Come home. Um, and then I'll show you guys the bits and bobs that I got. If not, I'll do it tomorrow. But I'm hoping to do it today. I'm desperate to go to TK Maxx. <laughs> like, I don't know what it is. I have that urge. I went last week and there was some really good bits. I think it's more to show you guys, like new in. So I'm debating on whether to go tomorrow or not. I'm not sure yet. But I'll keep you guys updated on what we do. We can have a lovely cozy couple of days together. Okay, so this is my simple but comfy outfit of the day. I've literally just got on a white vest. These leggings and my tote bag is from Lounge. Um, this cardigan is from Shein. I've actually got it in a couple of colors because it is the perfect kind of like transitional cardigan. It's not too thick. It's so soft and cozy um, and it just looks perfect with like every outfit. Um, and then I've got my Uggs on. I'm debating though whether to put white trainers on instead. These are so comfortable. <laughs> but then I'm thinking I might be a bit hot because it's kind of that weather outside where the clouds are going in and out. But it is a little bit hot. So I think I'm going to pop on some white trainers. Um, and then yeah just my normal jewelry kind of stacks for the day and um, we're actually gonna go and get a pumpkin spice latte i think that they're in stock so i'm not gonna like build my hopes up fully but i googled it and it said the 24th so i really want one so if they've got it obviously we're gonna get one if not i'll just get something else um, and then we're gonna get ham and cheese toasty go food shopping drop it home and then go to my sister's hi hello <laughs> We are now in the car. So the plan was to go to Tesco's first. However, we... It took too long getting ready. Thank you. <laughs> I took too long getting ready, apparently. And then we were like, actually looking at the time. We're going there for lunch. And we wouldn't have got there until like later this afternoon. So we were like... How lunch do we need to hit for? Is that a bad idea? I haven't eaten anything. Okay. We can share one. Um, so anyway, we're going to Starbucks first. We're kind of going to do it all backwards and then maybe pop into the shop later. Got 
got them a puppetino. <laughs> So we've been to Starbucks. <sighs> the uh, PSLs aren't here yet. We're not happy about it. We're not, are we? No. We are. I mean, you wouldn't have even got I mean, one I'm anyway. Sad for you. <laughs> but I was so excited. We should have asked them when they're going to have them. Yeah. So that's really sad. Um, but it's fine. I got a. What did I get? A frappe blonde roast oat brown sugar syrup uh, frappuccino. I normally used to get the um, blend espresso, but I wanted a frappuccino because I'm obsessed with like, having cream and stuff. What did you get? I got a chocolate waffle cone coffee frappuccino. Mm -hmm. It's nice. Good. Yeah, we're now going to drive to my sister's house, see the fam, and then we're not going to. Like stay late, are we? No, we want to shop later. We've got to do shop, and we want a bit of a chilled evening. And um, that is the leaves are turning brown. So yesterday we went to my sister's house, literally spent time with all the kids and the fam um, and then we came home, dropped the dogs, went food shopping, came back um, and then we just chilled for the evening so it wasn't really much to film and I feel like I filmed a lot of our like food shops and stuff recently. Um, God this sun is literally going in and out, soz about that guys, let me try and hopefully this is a bit better i didn't really feel much and then this morning um i've been craving porridge recently i don't know what it is but i'm not complaining because obviously it's good for you so you would have seen i had porridge i also got our foldable treadmill out um, and i done 3k which i know doesn't sound like a lot but when you're pregnant especially pregnant with twins it, like exercising I thought I was gonna be the sort of person that would completely carry on all of my like fitness throughout my pregnancy um, and there are times where I literally crave it I'm like oh my god I just need to like move my body and stuff and um, I do feel like I could push myself more but because I have got a twin pregnancy and it's like class is more high risk because I've only got one placenta it's one of those things that I just literally had to listen to my body and just relax and chill and because there's two babies growing in there it's made me extra tired so there's so many different things as to why i haven't like gone to the gym and stuff like that but at the moment i have realized i think although it makes me feel good within myself and my body it's just my mind and i've always said to you guys that's literally the main reason why i was so like particular on um, my fitness and i was so like anal that i would do it every single day because it was, I was just putting my mind first um, and I've realized 
at the moment I've developed a lot more like anxiety and stress and it's hard to obviously deal with for anyone but I've noticed recently that I've had a lot more of it and I'm I don't really know where it's come from it's literally come out of the blue um and I'd say the worst thing in my whole pregnancy not to like be negative but it hasn't been my symptoms or anything like that it's been more my mind and people's comments and stuff like that have started affecting me more and it's just I'm usually so good at blocking it but obviously my hormones are up in the air um, and they're double which is fabulous yeah it's been one of those things that have been a little bit hard to deal with at the minute I'm not gonna lie to you so so when I kind of like take a step back and I think okay what is gonna help with my mind and help me and it's exercise and not even that it's just eating healthy and like putting healthy things into my body so I'm trying to have two smoothies a day because um, when I was speaking to my consultant about it she was like you need to try and pack as much goodness like have as much smoothies and stuff like that so I'm having one smoothie in the morning and then one smoothie in the afternoon and it's just really help keep full but also just feel healthy so yeah I'm trying to start this new thing of just getting my steps now I've got my Apple watch back on this was dusty I'm not gonna lie to you it was probably just before we moved house I packed it away it was making me feel bad about myself that I wasn't like doing all my steps and completing all the rings on my watch and stuff and I think mentally I was like I just was stressed enough with moving I don't need this right now so I just took it off and it was in my jewelry box and but I got it out yesterday and I'm just trying to not put pressure on myself I'm not trying to hit 10,000 steps I'm not trying to have crazy goals I'm just trying to move my body more if that makes sense so yeah that's my goal sorry for that little ramble but I feel like I always speak to you guys about everything and like honestly you guys know obviously how I'm feeling at the minute and where my mind's at and yeah just with everything um also I picked these two things up from Tesco's yesterday sorry this is like the best white company dupe ever how insane is this so this is a mandarin clove and amber scented candle this was only 14 pounds and it smells incredible um, and then I also picked up these little wax melts but how cute is the autumn packaging and that's the same scent as the candle so I'm going to put the pillar candle in the middle of the island which I can't wait for anyway um today's plan I'm going to go and get my nails done which I'm excited about so I can go see my sister so I'm going to go and get my nails done come home I want to show you guys the bits that I picked up from Shein and H&M um I've got some housey bits and bobs that we can do so it's a really nice day and it's a lovely day outside today like the weather is really lovely so yeah let's have a good day together um and go and get our nails done I'm now home I made myself a little bit of lunch these are my nails I've gone back to a little bit more oval because they were shorter Um, usually I like them a little bit more pointy but because obviously they were shorter this is like the first steps it's quite nice to just have like my shape back and I think it looks so much nicer with my engagement ring so yeah I'm very happy with my nails Um, she also gave me these earrings they do like jewelry and like scrunchies and stuff in the shop so if you're ever in the lanes in Brighton, it's on Sydney Street, um, definitely check it out. I've also popped my hair in a scrunchie out of my face because I just can't be dealing with it right now. I have a meeting in like 40 minutes, so I wanted to show you guys um, the bits that I picked up from Shein. And then I'm going to have my meeting and then we can go upstairs and then I'll show you the stuff from H&M as well which I'm really looking forward to so I'm really excited to say that this portion of today's video is partly sponsored by Shein I work with them every single month and I love how they sell loads of different things from fashion to home stuff to baby things there's so many things on their site and it's just getting better I had to share it with you guys and um, of course they've given me this lighting I don't know what's going on of course they've given me a discount code and you can use the code amyrose and you'll get 15% of everything 
I'm going to pop all the links to all of these items in the description box down below in case you guys wanted to pick them up. First of all, I wanted to talk to you guys about these cardigans. Now, I've obviously been wearing this one today. And then this one over here is the same in this like gorgeous kind of like camely colour. It is such soft material. The perfect length for me for cardigans. Um, and it's a really nice like it's not too thick and it's not too thin it's like a really nice kind of transitional kind of cardigan which obviously makes it perfect for this time of year um so i have been loving this at the minute and it is so soft as well i just really like the style of it it's just it's so comfortable but even when it's warm outside like you can still kind of wear it and like be cozy at the same time next up um this is something that was on my list and i can now tick off my list um, we're debating because obviously the twins are the same gender I'm not sure whether to order another packet because we're kind of thinking like do they just share a wardrobe or do we have two wardrobes because although they're identical I'm not going to dress them the same probably just for like an occasion but I want them to just be them and like their own individual person but to be fair I think all of their clothes are just going to be together in the wardrobe so I picked up these and these are basically dividers that go into wardrobe um, and it divides the ages so you know exactly like what clothes and stuff are there um, so it literally goes up until 24 plus months which is like toddler um, so literally newborn 0 to 3, 3 to 6, 6 to 9, 9 to 12, 12 to 18, 18 to 24 and then toddler plus um, which is perfect because babies grow so fast <laughs> so it's good to know like the ages and like it just makes it so much more organized um, and I really like the look of them and it's the same on either side and it's like a really lovely quality like wood so these are our really cute dividers they're gonna go in their wardrobe next up we have these milestone little wooden plaques um, and I again instantly fell in love with these and i really like the style of them um so these ones for example this lighting is just awful um so they look like that so it's like kind of embossed and i think yeah these are like plastic and then um it says all the different months on each one and i thought they're just really cute little milestones so like obviously when they're here we can take pictures of them i just can't believe like eight months old it just it it feels like it's so far away, but I know it's going to be so quick until they're that age. It's just crazy. I really liked them. I like how simple they are. Uh, they're good for, they're just neutral, so it's really good for like either gender, and they're so cute. So I'm really excited to use them. I also picked up these ones. I really like kind of like cloud themes. We're not sure what theme we're going to do their room yet, but I think... It'll probably be like a mixture of things. It probably won't be like a set thing. But I do really like clouds. Um, and I thought, again, these are milestones. But they're also, they've got other ones as well. So this one says, hello world. And then this one um, has got the name, weight, height, and then the date as well. But obviously, obviously there's two. So I think I just have to divide it in the middle. But they're just so cute. I just love them. And again, it's the milestones. So like seven months four months like it's just perfect um, and they're really affordable and the quality of these are amazing that's one thing about Shein that I think people don't think it's so easy to like see things online and think mm, is the quality going to be as good as it looks and then it comes and you're like no um, but I do really feel like with Shein it's getting so much better and like even the home stuff and things like that it's just improving so much Next up, we have a caddy. Now, this one, if you watched my haul from last month, I picked up a caddy, like a plain grey one. And then I saw they done this one, and I was like, wow. And obviously, we're going to have these absolutely everywhere in the house, in the car. Like, we're going to have them a lot. Because obviously, with a baby, of course, you need to be organised. But with twins, you need to be that step ahead. So we literally need to have these everywhere in the house. So that's like the divider inside of it. And then obviously, once you start filling it with things, it's gonna kind of like pad out over time. Um, but I really love the quality of it. It's so thick and the color, um, and I really love the style of it. So, so excited to like organize them all and like put all their nappies and like wipes and stuff in. I know it'll get to the point where I'll be like, oh, I can't be bothered, but I love things like that, as you guys know, I love organising, so things like that, to me, I'm just 
so excited about. Um, I picked up some neutral muslins. Um, these ones are really good because they're massive. Like they're like a blanket kind of muslin, <laughs> which is perfect. And this has got loads of different patterns and stuff in, little rainbows, which I thought again, are perfect for either gender. We still don't know what we're having yet. We literally found out so soon. So um, I've just been buying things that I think are perfect for both. And to be honest, it doesn't really matter anyway. <laughs> they're babies, it's fine. This I thought was really good. This is like a nursing muslin. So it's got like a wire here. Um, and then this strap goes over your neck and then it kind of has like a gate pierce. So you can kind of see the baby. Obviously air's going through and it's just a good way to breastfeed. So I thought this was so clever. Um, and there's a little hook here. So it goes like round um, and it's really soft as well. So I really like that. I swear they do the cutest like muslins and cloths and, and stuff like that. Like the patterns of them are so cute. So I picked up, let me show you. I think, did I get these last time? I can't remember, but the quality is actually so good and it's so soft. Um, so this is what this muslin looks like. It's got little bunny rabbits on. How cute is that? Again, perfect for either gender. So I got two of those, um, a sage green one. I love this color. Um, and then this pattern, Oh, this is cute. It's got little sleeping bears on. How adorable is that? Um, and these are really big. My hair's like itching me. I've just made my skin red. Um, every time I've gone into a store like Tesco's or something, they're not as big as I want them to be because muslins are good to have massive, like a blanket because it's just perfect for babies. They're just perfect for everything, aren't they? Um, and I love how big these are. So yeah, these are obviously gonna come in so handy and we're gonna go through them like there's no tomorrow. Finally, I picked up some maternity leggings. I asked you guys on my Instagram what your favorite brand is for like maternity wear and like gym wear and leggings and stuff like that. And so many of you said she and so I had a look and I was like, wow, there's actually so many. Um, so these are obviously completely bump friendly. They are so, so stretchy, but also really like thick at the same time. So I've got these leggings, which as you guys know, the beige is very much me. So I'm excited to wear them. Um, and then I also picked up a black pair and these are really, really lovely material, really thick, stretchy over the bump, my growing bump. I swear, it's like I wake up one day and then my bump is just so much bigger. Next up we have this gorgeous knitted dress. This is such a comfortable, and look, literally the stretchiest dress ever. It is so thick, but like not uncomfortably thick. It's like the perfect kind of thickness that you want in like a knitted dress or like knitted clothes. This material is my favorite for anything knits, like when I have jumpers and stuff like that, because it's like comfortable, it's durable, and you kind of want it to kind of just feel really, just feel really comfy and not like, oh, I need to get changed. It's a really gorgeous new dress. It crosses over. It's really, really bump friendly. I don't know if this one is maternity. I can't remember, or I got a bigger size. Sometimes I do that. If I, if I know that it's gonna be a bit more stretchy, I'll just order, I'll just order it in the size up because I just think it's fine. Next up, we have this hoodie, which I'm so excited about. Um, so this is a really lovely oversized hoodie. I really like the color of it and um, the style of it. I like how the sleeves are like balloon sleeves, which are perfect. Um, and this is something that I'm gonna wear all the time during pregnancy and also postpartum. We're having winter babies, so I feel like it's a good thing because I can just put on leggings and a jumper and stuff, especially like after they're here. Um, and it's just comfortable and it gives me time to kind of get back to like me again. From what I've heard, when people have had babies, they're like, it just takes a while to kind of feel you. So I think it'll be nice for me to like kind of prepare myself and just have loads of comfy clothes, loads of lounge wear, which to be fair, I wear anyway. Um, and like when we go on walks and stuff, things like this are perfect. So thinking ahead, literally <laughs> I'm like a twin mum meant to be because I'm just trying to think ahead with everything. Something I'm so excited about and I think Bradley will be as well. We've spoken about getting one of these for the longest time and we just haven't. Um, and I saw it on there and I thought, is the quality gonna be the same? Um, but I was looking at reviews and it's just amazing. So this is a chopper. 
for any fruit and veg and i've seen this all over like social media and stuff like that there's loads of different graters as well so you can like great things with it you could it's just so universal um, and it's one of those things that i was waiting to move house to like get this because i was thinking oh i need the space for it but to be fair everything is so compact in here but i'm sure you've heard of it <laughs> and i'm so excited to use that so that was everything that i picked up from sheen this month i'll put all the links to the items in the description box down below in case you guys wanted to pick them up let me know what your favorite thing was um, you can also use my code amy rose and you'll get 15 percent of everything which is incredible thank you to them for partly sponsoring today's video i'm going to pack all of this away now and then we can unbox the H&M stuff. So I've just had my meeting with my accountant so that's all good and productive. I'm going to show you the stuff from H&M because I'm really excited about it. I don't know if it's a smart idea me being in this position because I'm so backlit right now <laughs> so sorry about that um, but hopefully I can make it work while I'm editing. So the bits that I got from H&M, H&M it's getting to that time of year guys where H&M you just go on the site and you keep seeing things that you want. <laughs> it's happening with me so much even with like all baby stuff. I just can't help it. It's just so hard. I've been collecting a lot of baby bits along the way obviously. Very neutral things. So I don't know if you guys would prefer me to just film like a set baby haul vlog. I think I should just probably do it all in one video because yeah there's a lot of bits and bobs and... I know if you're not having a baby or even if you've had a baby or if you want a baby and things like that can be really hard to watch which I completely understand it might be better just to have like a set video with everything just so you know that that video is set on the baby stuff so I think I'll do that with like clothes and stuff really soon because as soon as we know their genders I'm just gonna go out and buy so much so the first thing that I wanted to share with you guys is this dress now i've actually worn this already <laughs> but it's in the bag and obviously i wanted to show you so it's this kind of like squarey loop kind of neck dress the sleeves go out a little bit and it's a bodycon and it's ribbed this isn't maternity um so this is what the color looks like up close i'm usually a size medium in h&m but i just when things aren't maternity i just size up so i got that in a size large absolutely love it i've actually put a picture of it on my instagram before i love it so much and um, i actually had to pick the black one as well and um, so i've got it in black as well so i'm really really excited to wear this i cannot wait it's just so nice wearing like a fitted dress and breathing out <laughs> it made me feel really sad like my body obviously pre-pregnancy that i'd never wear anything like that because i'd be too scared that i'd look pregnant because i'm kind of one of those people that I blow really easily, like so easily. So I just always avoided it. Um, so it's really nice that I can just wear these and breathe out. I should have just worn it before, but it's fine. Um, I picked up these earrings. I actually got them a couple of months ago and they're my favorite earrings I have ever owned. <laughs> and I lost them and I don't, I literally, I think I lost them over the move. I've looked in my jewelry box, looked in all my suitcases and everything i think it's from being on holiday coming home packing and then obviously moving i just i lost them and luckily they were in stock and i think they're like 5.99 or something they're ridiculously cheap and they're just they're so nice so i picked them up sorry about it being cool heavy but a lot of us on here like to shop <laughs> so i'm really sorry about that if this isn't your thing and um, i'll pop all the links to these down below um i picked up this gorgeous fedora hat this was in the sale it was so affordable um but i absolutely love it and i think it would look really cute it would like my dresses and stuff like that i love it so much i really like this buckle detailing it's like a knot it looks so lovely so i'm really excited to wear that i picked up this poncho which i thought would look really lovely with this dress um obviously not to wear just with it but i do really like it and i think again winter babies things like this for me especially postpartum are going to be amazing because it looks nice it's like oh it's a nice like cute little outfit but it's also like a blanket as well it's going to be amazing for breastfeeding it's going to be amazing to cuddle up the babies with um, and it's just so cozy and comfy so I love this I just thought I had to I had to get it because it's just so comfortable I think I got this last year in white and brown um, and I really like 
this colour as well. So excited about that. Very staticky though. I forgot I ordered this. I've been trying to just keep everything in the bag and not wear anything, which is the hardest thing. Um, there is a set which I'll pop on screen here and I wore it in my last video or the video before, I can't remember. It's the like ribbed kind of set and it's the trousers and then the shirt. Um, I love it. The other day I wore it in a vest top and then had the shirt open and it was just really nice and comfortable. So I love that. Um, this is a cardigan. This is a gorgeous cardigan. Um, I just picked this up in my normal size. I think with cardigans, unless you want it a little bit oversized, just go for your normal size really if you're preggers because it's just a cozy cardigan um, and I love it and it's really long. The colour is so me. It's going to fit in so nicely with my wardrobe um, and it just feels really really lovely you know that just lovely material um, and then lastly i picked up these maternity leggings which i cannot wait to wear i have been wearing just normal leggings i haven't bought any maternity wear i think today's haul is the first like hauls where i've got set maternity things other than that i've had things that i have had before or i've just sized up in and that aren't like maternity but obviously these are like wider around the stomach. And I see loads of people, they have maternity wear and they're so comfortable that after they've even had the babies, like even years after, they still wear it because it's just comfortable. Like it's like jeans. I'm really excited to find like a nice pair of maternity jeans because there's one set of mum jeans that I have from Zara and I love them. And obviously they don't fit around my stomach anymore. They did in my first trimester, I got away with it, but not anymore. And I just really want to wear jeans like that. Maternity approved. <laughs> so that's my goal. Um, but yeah, I'll pop a link to all these bits and bobs down below. I'm so excited to wear these. Anyway, I'm gonna tie these bits and bobs up, then go downstairs, I'm gonna edit, and then I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Mm -hmm. 